Hi, welcome everybody. Are you ready to fight for a fair economy? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to make Wall Street pay? Yeah. Members of Iowa CCI, Service Employees International Union, and other supporters are here today to say we're tired of big banks bankrupting America. We are fighting for a fair economy, which includes making Wall Street pay for the economic damage they've done to our towns, cities, and states. Corporations like Wells Fargo and Goldman Sachs created the financial crisis, throwing millions of people out of work, and they don't even pay their fair share of taxes. Iowans deserve better. Companies in Iowa and around the country continue to make record profits, but they do not pay their fair share of the income taxes. This is corporate greed. It has to stop. Our country is in the midst of a revenue crisis. On a daily basis, we hear that there is not enough money in our local and state governments to pay for vital services or to support the investment needed to rebuild America and get the almost 14 million unemployed back to work. Because we're tired of our nurses, health care workers, teachers, firemen, police, first responders, and public employees across the board taking blame for the federal budget crunch and state budget shortfalls all over the nation. We say, get off their backs. They're not the perpetrators. They're the victims of unindicted corporate crime in the Swedes. Where does the money come from? It has to be fair. People first. People before profit. We're here to say, we know where the money is. And it's not in a retired librarian's bank account. It's not in the lunch boxes of preschool kids or in the wallet of Head Start teachers. Social Security and Medicare recipients are hoarding capital. The money is on Wall Street and it's time to make them pay. In a few minutes, we'll be paying a visit to one of the large banking institutions that helped crash the U.S. economy, Wells Fargo. They're the subject of a 50 state attorney's general investigation into their peddling of toxic subprime mortgages. Wells Fargo is also a corporate tax dodger, paying only a fraction of its federal tax dollar, tax, federal tax obligation by exploiting loopholes in corporate tax law. In 2009, Wells Fargo paid no federal taxes and even received a $4 billion rebate despite reporting $18 billion in pre-tax income. And last year, the year when Wells Fargo paid CEO John Stump a generous $12 million bonus, they also took advantage of federal tax loopholes, thereby shorting the U.S. government of $5 billion in revenue. Does Wells Fargo pay its fair share of corporate taxes in our state? No. no. Well, yeah, who knows? In Iowa, corporate tax returns are not a matter of public record. We challenge Wells Fargo CEO John Stumpf and Iowa, Illinois Regional Director Scott Johnson to publicly disclose the last 10 years of corporate tax returns immediately and prove to the public that Wells Fargo pays its fair share of taxes in our state. Make the big banks and corporate Wall Street CEOs, execs and their cronies, pay their fair share in the Social Security. They caused this economic crash and revenue crisis. Make them pay, make them pay, people before profits. Ain't no power like the power of people, because the power of the people is soft.